Hey Trojans, on today's show we'll have information on tomorrow's pep rally. Also on the program we'll meet another new teacher in our, program, in our building. This and more coming up on Trojan TV News. This way. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us. I'm Lainey Grego. And I'm Ola Legri. It is Thursday, October 12th, and here are your top news and announcements. It's time to get excited for the upcoming football game on Friday. Students and staff are invited to the Tarkus Pep Rally tomorrow morning at 7.50 in the auditorium for year to celebrate all fall sports and get pumped for the football game against Staley. New teachers and staff are getting settled in here at Park Hill High School. Trojan TV News reporter McKenna Miller brings us this profile of our new broadcast teacher. It has not aired yet. With Park Hill having 16 new teachers this year, one stands out in particular. 18 years ago, a teacher started up the broadcasting program at both Park Hill and Park Hill South. This year, we were able to locate a teacher for both schools. Now we have a teacher that can be here all four blocks of the day, all five days of the week, stuff like that, all school year, rather than a teacher that was here half the day and not here the other half, because I think that we were being robbed almost of the full help and expertise we needed from our teacher at Trojan TV. Mr. Matthew is teaching both Broadcast 1 and Advanced Broadcasting this semester. You have two classes within one class period and so that's uh, an adjustment. He has been teaching for 18 years but this is his first year in the Park Hill District. This is a difficult role to take on however Mr. Matthew is up to the challenge. I like to be challenged, I like to be kept fresh and so um, it's been that, a challenge, but I look forward to the challenge. It takes the right person to be able to grow this program. Uh, I think the passion is really evident. Uh, I think that he not only cares about helping the program progress and helping Trojan TV be the best thing that it can be, but also each kid individually and helping them grow and mature as not only a broadcaster, but a person and a student. Although taking over this program won't be easy, Mr. Matthew is excited to see where this school will take him. We have so many opportunities to learn outside of the classroom and real world, real world environments, this class being one where we get to go out and do live broadcasts and things like that of sporting events, and so that's uh, something that's great to look forward to because I, I like I love seeing kids discover. Though the job is still very new for Mr. Matthew, he's already made his students feel right at home. He's cool, he really cares about what he's teaching us and uh, just makes class fun overall. I'm McKenna Miller with Trojan TV News, back to the desk. Thanks McKenna, we love having Matthew here in the newsroom. It definitely was chilly out this morning. It sure was Ella, I had to go back in and get a sweatshirt. Let's send it to Isla Prado with more on today's weather. Thanks, Lainey Nella. Let's take a look at our current day forecast. So this afternoon, it's currently 77 degrees, and we almost reached the high for the day, which is 79, and the low 62. We may be expecting some showers, so if you're either heading to that boys' soccer game or that girls' volleyball game, make sure to stay safe on those roads. Let's take a look at our seven-day forecast. Okay, so Friday for that football game, we are now expecting some storms to come with the 44% chance of them happening. The high that day will be 66 and the low is going to be 49. So it's going to be a little chilly for that game. Saturday, it's the high is 57 and the low is 48. And we're really in those like fall temperatures and just overall coldness. And then Sunday, it's that same same weather, and on Monday, heading into that school day, we're going to be seeing a little bit of sun with high, low 60s and reaching the 70s through the later hour of the week. That's it. Back to the desk. Thanks, Isla. Hey, Ella, are you going to the soccer game tonight? Sadly, I'm not, but I'm sure those senior boys are excited. Let's send it over to Dawson with more on that. Thanks, Lainey, Ella. The Trojans athletic team had a day off from competition yesterday, but we'll get back to it today and tonight. The Tarkus game of the week is softball. The Trojans start to play in the dis Class 5 District 8 tournament against Central High School from St. Joseph. First pitch is scheduled for 5 p.m. at Park Hill South. The volleyball team hosts Lee Summit North for a 6 p.m. match, and the boys' soccer team is at home for senior night for a 6.30 match against Lee Summit Tigers. That's it for your Trojan Sports Update. I'm Dawson Bean. Back to you, Lainey and Ella. Thanks, Dawson. Here are the meeting reminders for this week. Math Club will meet after school today in room PC2, and Anime Club will meet after school today in room 413. 
Seniors, don't forget Jocelyn's will be here on Monday, October 16th during homeroom to talk about ordering graduation announcements and getting sizes for cap and gown orders. That's all we have for you today, Trojans. I'm Ella Allegri. And I'm Lainey Grego. Have a great day, Trojans.